Turn Signal with Nima Reza. New Dr. Phil. Should a parent support their child changing genders? Dr. Phil is revisiting the topic of gender-confused kids. Now, the mother defending her son's choice to be a girl. I have tons of purses. Glenn Stanton, a researcher for Focus on the Family, was an invited guest expert on this program, offering hope and sound advice for parents who face this difficult topic. Kids who end up, you know, switching because they have a feeling doesn't often end up well. I mean, we find out that, yes, oh, my child, you know, wants to identify as a girl. They find out later on in life that it doesn't tend to work out so well for them, that there are all kinds of problems that follow that sort of thing. You know, they, they, they struggle, they, they, they see difficulties with who they are. Yes, they may be living as a woman when they're actually physically a man, but the happiness never comes. And it's because they're not living what they were meant by nature and by God to live as, and so that's very, very important. Many, many children have gender confusion in a very mild way. I mean, again, they've never been a man or a woman. They don't know what it's about. You've got to teach them and show them what this is about. So parents need to do that very generally, and ideally, um, fathers are not the ones that should correct and, and, and scold their little boys if they're not acting right. It's the mothers that should do that, and the fathers should welcome them, pull them into manhood, masculinity. Same thing with little girls and little boys. It's the father that should teach the little girl, this is how you should be as a little girl, and the mother should welcome that child into womanhood. We need to understand that both mother and father are, are keenly critical and important in raising gender-healthy kids, and they both play different roles, and many times those roles seem to conflict. Dad wants to do it one way, mom wants to do it another way, but the child needs both of those different ways. The other is we need to recover in our ideal what it is to be a good man, not you know the, the androgynous idea or not the, uh, the hyper-masculine idea, but the place in the middle, what's the healthy role of a man? And Dr. Dobson has done a very, very good job of not only teaching that, but exemplifying that. We need more of that kind of teaching. For more from Glenn Stan, check out the link at the end of this video.